Hey and welcome back, this is video number one, creating an action plan for your business. Now this video is going to be fairly quick, but I want to make sure that I cover the basics and point out a few things before we actually jump right in, right? Alright, so for this exercise, what I want you to do is pause this video right now. Pull out a piece of paper and a pen, and I'm going to go through some questions that I want you to begin to jot down the answers to so that you have it in hand when you, we actually go into the modules themselves it'll actually make your life a lot easier to implement so the question is where are you right now I want you to think about where you are right now in terms of branding yourself traffic and content so what are you doing right now that is working what are you doing right now that is not working if you have an idea of what's working what's not working you'll actually get a more clear idea as we actually go through the video course itself. You'll actually find epiphanies. You'll be like, aha, aha moments as we go through the video course because it'll apply to you and what you're doing rather than in general. So if you can jot down, just pause for a moment and jot down where are you now in terms of what you're doing. Branding wise, do you have a logo? You don't have a logo or do you have a mascot? You don't have a mascot. Are the colors that you're using in specifically in the, the logo itself related to the demographics that you're trying to reach? Or are the colors that you're using, because in itself colors are powerful. They actually create an environment that creates in the subconscious mind how somebody's going to feel. Like, for example, orange. Orange could be for really exciting type. You want to take action right now, stuff like that. Blue, and especially dark blue, helps the user think, okay, I'm at ease, I'm learning, this is peaceful, stuff like that. And maybe this is not something that you've thought about, and maybe this is something that you can think about actually implementing in your business. So I want you to jot down where you are right now. So same with branding, like do you have a logo, slogan, mascot? What are you trying to convey? Who is your audience? Do you know your demographics? Because if you don't, you're pretty much hitting and missing in terms of branding, in terms of conversions and things like that. Because if you don't know the frame of mind that somebody is in when they're looking at your website, like what kind of problems that they're facing, what kind of solutions they're looking for, and things like that. Because if you know it, it's going to make your life a lot easier, your conversion is going to be a lot better, and things like that. And when they leave your site, branding is key, so it's going to stick in their minds, right? So pause this video now, jot down the answers to the, these questions, so that it's going to help you later down the road. Let's talk about traffic. Traffic, like what type of traffic are you getting now? Besides Facebook, what is working for you? What is not working for you? Uh, in terms of the media, like social media realm, is LinkedIn working for you? Is it not working for you? What are you doing? Why is it not working? If you're trying Facebook, why is it not working for you? What might be working? And what I mean working, in terms of Facebook, it's all about interaction. So are you getting interaction? Are you getting likes? Are you getting comments, or, uh, replies, and things like that? Those are considered successes. They may not be necessarily conversion successes, but they are successes because you're engaging your visitors. Because when somebody engages with you, they are interested. And you gotta think about it, Facebook is a totally different animal Make sure that you're not selling directly. Make sure you're not saying something like, hey, go buy my product. Rather, you want to sell indirectly. And I know that might be something totally different and totally opposite than you're used to, but guess what? You have to follow the Facebook in terms of selling stuff in an entertaining way. And that brings us to the last point, which is content. What kind of content are you currently providing? Are you providing a mixture of content, a written content, video, pictures, or just one type of content? So one thing a lot of people tend to make a mistake of 
is in terms of content, they provide one specific content piece, written, video, or pictures. Not all three. You want to have all three simply because you have three different types of learning types. You have visual, you have auditory, and you have kinesthetic. Kinesthetic type people will want to follow along as they do it. Visual people will tentatively watch the video first and they'll actually do it. So if you're a visual person, most likely you're going to watch this whole video and do it afterwards. In an auditory, they prefer to read text and listen to audio and things like that. So with that said, let's move on to the next module, which we actually talk about branding and how you can go about using colors, creating good logos, perhaps revamping your logo and mascots using those to increase your brand and much more.